Check out these guns. Hello everyone and thank you for joining us once again on the DSTAR01 channel. I'm your host Dexter Raffulis and today is a very special day. This is more of a user request video. A uh, long time ago, and for one, I have to apologize to him. Right Leg Productions is this uh, one of my subscribers who commented saying, Hey, I want to know what this is about. And I promised him I'd do a showcase video, but it's been so long and I've just been so busy. I never got around to it. So today, I promise I will get around to it. And hence, it's right there. And we're going to go over everything on this wall. And of course, we're going to do an unboxing of Shina Rika. It's from the Little Armor series, Tommy Tech by Figma. And what these are is pretty much just cute anime girls. Um, and they go with guns. They come with guns and they have tack gear and they look really cool. Um, I really love the idea behind these. Uh, my first one that I got was this one was Miso. Um, yeah, Miso? No. Uh, I know it's Asato. So schoolgirl Asato, and she came with this awesome like uh, SOP mod like M4 has like the the red dot, and then she comes with magazines, and she comes with like a Glock. It was so amazing. I was like so excited when this one was announced, and she comes with a plate carrier and everything. Um, just a little history. I you know I like to shoot guns, and I'm also an avid airsofter, and I love pretty much every tactical shooter out there. And what kind of convinced me to keep buying these, and hence I'll even show you, I have a bunch, and then I have uh, this one, and then I have this one, and they're all outfitted with little armory toys or um, guns. And the reason why I decided to do this was because I was playing uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands with all my friends, and I was like, man, we were all, for some reason, girl characters, and I said, wouldn't this be cool if we had action figures? And this is pretty close to what uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands can offer. So I got four female figures, all outfitted, ready to rock and roll. So we're going to look at that. Um, the gun in Shinarika is complete, but I have not opened her up yet. So let's open her up and let's see what's going on here. And let's see if she's as good as uh, uh, schoolgirl Asato. Or Mio Asato, I think. I honestly forgot. I just think she looks cool. So yeah, let's open her up. And let's see how Sheena looks here. Now, before I go, I just gotta say, I love this figure so much, but the problem is, is this. See, well, obviously not her, her panties, but <laughs> the problem is, is that joint on her waist is really loose. And I'm hoping they solve that problem with her. All right, let's look right here. Take off all the plastic. And let's see how she is. I'm really excited about this figure. I managed to get all these anime girls to, you know, to look like Janelle. <laughs> they all kind of look like Janelle. So, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I, I bought them. <laughs> and she knows that too. It's really funny. She finds it flattering. But it's true. I, I kind of wanted just a bunch of anime girls that look like my wife. Anyway, enough about that. Let's look closer here at Sheena. And what we have here is really nice details. Woo, very nice. Of course, standard Figma quality here. Tight joints, really tight joints, but smooth nonetheless. And she's looking really fantastic. Wow. Love those anime eyes, like the grayish blue hair. And no waist pull here, so she's really tight. Got the holster, got the plate carrier, got like this military uh, coat. Maybe not, maybe that's a schoolgirl coat. And of course, we got the plaid skirt there, looking really sharp. Really nice details on this figure. It looks really good. Absolutely love it. Wow, Plate Carriers also has um, holsters for the magazines. Really cool, very nice. Love the shoes here. Don't know if those are 5'11 shoes, but they look really nice. Um, yeah, really good, really good. Standard Plate Carrier, by the way, has something very similar to this in airsoft form. So, uh, overall, paint detail, really solid. Now, let's get to... Because this is going to be a long video, I just kind of want to get through this as fast as possible because we have a lot of stuff to talk about today. Um, see, this is all the all the stuff that I managed to pull apart from her. 
or not pull apart from uh, from the to make the gun and this is how it looks like when it's complete now a lot of people are probably going to be wondering including Kira back there is this difficult to make and the answer to that is no this is not very difficult to make it looks really detailed um, so there's something I have to tell you when you're building something like this is that parts like this with these tiny pegs get loose really fast and they can possibly break so find a setup that you like and super glue it together to keep it sturdy I think this is let's see the mark oh, I forgot the name of this gun I know it's an M4 of some sort the MK14 MK13 I forgot uh, let me see let me give you a proper name I don't wanna it is the mark 18 sorry mod 1 um, so it comes with a regular flash hider at the end instead of the silencer and instead of just putting the silencer on or the flash hider I kind of just super glue the silencer I kind of like the way it looks as is also a lot of these accessories are pressure fitted on and honestly they do fall off pretty easily no matter how much you snap them in it, they just fall off so you just have to super glue it if you you got to keep this super glued or cemented or whatever you want to call it I use super glue to assemble this guy and it looks really sharp and I just kept it that way you know I'm gonna keep it like this when I display it so I said to myself why why do I need to have inter interchangeable accessories when I do like the way it is as is and of course I still have the stock and everything but that's pretty much it she also came with a uh, um, the she come, this comes with a lot of cool stuff this comes with a uh, a uh, magnifier for the EOTech and it comes in with it so you can put it on the side but again like I said I super glued everything so it's gonna stay like that uh, it's up to you though if you don't want to super glue it yeah sure you can pressure fit it on um, it doesn't stay on very well like I said just a fair warning so really solid love this you can paint it I decided to keep it as is I love the uh, the tan and the black on there might give a little matte finish on the black body and that's about it really solid <laughs> I absolutely love that you can build the guns. They're so awesome. They're so fun to build. It, it's a new, like, like when you're playing with these toys, what I love about um, Little Armory in particular is that they build much like the real deal. I really love the realism. Uh, one of my favorite action figures was the Mezco Deadpool, and it came with, like, removable magazines and stuff like that. That just adds extra realism and value to a figure. This is kind of a, a different thing. Uh, sure, the magazines aren't removable. Like as we're looking at Sheena's, uh, let's look closer at this. This is Sheena's um, Sig, I believe. I think this is a Sig two two six. Yeah, I think it's Sig two two six. Um, you can't slide the rack. Uh, you can't rack slide. You can't remove the magazine. But um, her rifle, you can build just like the real thing. The pistols, you don't really build up. And this one also looks nice. Nice matte finish on there. Maybe a little bit glossy. And of course, you have like a surefire um, flashlight on there. This is really cool. So you can add to the value of that. And I believe this should be holsterable. Let's see. Maybe not. Okay, so it doesn't go there. It probably goes on her her thigh holster. Yeah, this is I thought it does go on her thigh holster. Um, before I put that, actually, I've noticed the skirt kind of gets in the way. There is an you know uh, a flipping skirt version. Actually, I don't, we'll put that on later, yeah. We'll put that on later. So yeah, the pistol does go on really nice and tight into that holster. Fantastic. Uh, also, one thing I have to tell you guys is that this figure is kind of expensive. She, for me, ship was 65 to 70, and I know she's going for around 80 bucks. Yeah, she's really expensive. And I think one of the reasons is the fact that she comes with a gun, um, the gun that, uh, that you have to build and each of the individual most of the individual guns that you have to buy in the set are about 10 to 20 dollars a piece so then add that to the figure yeah oh let's look at her face we got an angry face here let's look at that really cool looking really cool looking just yelling right there we got a radio and we got let's see here one two Three M4 magazines, all high capacities, 
And this looks like it goes right into the vest. One and two. I'm having a lot of trouble getting the middle one in. It's almost like it's too small. Yeah, I'm starting to think it's too small. Or the, the pouch is too small, so it doesn't... Okay, so it just needs to be fin a little bit little bit adjusted there. So you can't get the third one in. Looking sharp. Looking really sharp. Really loving this so far. And she comes with a stand, and she comes with extra hands. All in all gloved fingers and, and hands here. Really like that. And then there's the stand. Of course, you get your Figma baggie. Nothing too special there. Yeah, she's looking really solid. Let's get this gun on her. Let's see how it looks. I'm really excited about this. And let's see. So we got to make her a right-handed shooter. Let's take that peg off. Ooh, really tight peg. Let's get that off. Not too bad. Not too difficult. All right, now we got the shooting hand on. Let's get that rifle in there. Really nice fit with the finger in the trigger. And then we can pull it like that. And I only add, let's do it Magpul style like that. And there you have it. Whew, looking sharp. Looking really sharp. Loving this. Holding it by there. Yeah, look at that. That looks so cool. I am really, really digging it. Okay, now I figured out what that whole that this pouch was for. It's for her radio. <laughs> I was like, there's no pistol that can really fit in there. Yeah, it's for her radio. There you go. Put the radio. There you have it with her gun. Looking really cool. I guess we should put this on. Looks like I might have to remove the legs. Honestly, it shouldn't be too hard to do. I don't want to do that. I really just like the way it looks right here. So if you want my overall opinion so far about Shinarika, yeah, this is fantastic. Let's put her together with, with Miso Asato looking really sharp. We got the two girls ready to take on, especially if you're a fan of Ghost Recon Wildlands. Let's take on the cartel with this, and then we have the other two. Uh, we'll look at them later. So yeah, let's break it down with this figure, and then we'll go on to the little little uh, little armory stuff in the showcase. And yeah, absolutely. Fantastic, really approve. So let's look here um, at all this cool stuff. Let's look deeper into that. Wow, got a whole set here. This is case B and case A, I believe. And Little Armory makes cases, and let me show you the box for that. Actually, they're called gun racks. Here's gun rack B. Um, this one's gun rack B. This one's really hard to find. And I think one of the reasons why it's hard to find because it comes with all these uh, pistol um, stands, which are very useful, especially if you have a ton of pistols. And you can just stick it in the drawer. And as you can see on the camera on top, that I have them all in there. If you move them too much, they do fall off, as you can see, but I have a bunch of them. So yeah, uh, the gun, the gun, Racks are really nice. Highly recommend you get B over A or C, I believe, because I just love these drawers. They're just fantastic. All right, so let's talk about what's not Little Armory, okay? And what's not Little Armory is the Druganov right here. The Druganov is by Platts 112 scale realistic rifle set. I painted this one a wooden brown and then a it kept the black on there. Looks really sharp. And what's cool about the Platts guns is that these, let's adjust that there. These you don't have to assemble. So the person who does, who's afraid of assembling things or tiny things, these are the way to go. These will fit all your Figmas and will fit all of your, uh, some of your, most of your SH figure arts. And another one that comes with the set, it comes in the box of the Platts 112 scale realistic gun, is this one. It's pretty cool. I think this is the Type 89. I'm not sure if you guys know what this one is. I think this is the Japanese police force rifle. And of course you get one with a folding stock, which doesn't fold, and you get one with a solid stock. And of course you get your classic M4. Look at this guy, this is nice. Classic M4, looking really good, really, really sharp. Loving this. 
Uh, I made a mistake in the past. Uh, Mio does not come with this gun. I keep forgetting that this was the first gun I ever built. I just really like her with this one, but this is the one you actually get, which is like a standard uh, rail integrated system M4, and then she comes with the ACOG with the red dot. This is horribly painted. This is my first gun or I've ever painted. It looks really bad. Um, maybe from uh, from afar it looks okay, but this is not uh, this is not my best work. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing to show that. It looks okay. My favorite is absolutely this one. I think this one looks cool. Uh, okay, so let's keep talking. In the plats, you get two of the Druganovs. Nice. I kept one black. And let's talk about little armory, okay? Now let's, talk, let's get this M4. This is the M24, I believe. No, I'm sorry. This is the M24. Yeah, the M24. I was right. And this is the box that comes that it comes in. And it's got the scope and everything, M24 SWS. And what I absolutely love about this is, look at this, check this out, guys. You can move the bolt back and push it back. Hold on. Ooh, that's really tight. <laughs> and you can push the bolt back so you can have her, like, in a mid-reloading, like, scene. There, scene, it's loosened up. See, look at that. The bolt goes back. Isn't that cool? So realistic. I really love that. So you can have that bolt action look. Boom. That's nice. The scope's removable, but I pretty much just super glued it. And one of the reasons why I super glued it was because I just like the look of a scope sniper rival. I mean, who doesn't, right? Oh, that bolt's really tight. Let's see if I can carefully move it again. No. Okay, so I'm just going to keep it that way. I really like that. That is a really tight bolt, but if you move it around. Also, it comes with a bipod, two bipods. You get one that's open and then one that's closed like this. I'm gonna keep it like this because I don't want it to, uh, I don't want it to go down. I like it when they hold the rifle like that. Uh, I, might, I mean, I didn't super glue this one because I really want the bipod to be down just in case I'm doing like a, a spotter situation. And let's get this gun on me. I haven't really put this on anyone yet. I kind of just built it. There you go. Let's see. All right, guys, there she is. And I made this uh, this sling for her for this gun. So now she can uh, dual wield here. And then you got her with the M24. Looking really sharp there. Really, really nice on Mio. Really love that. Let's put that guy back. And so let's go over more. Let's talk about the M870 shotguns. And you get three of them. You get the shorty. You get the mid-size, or no, sorry, this is the full size with the full stock. And then you get the retractable stock version. And I absolutely love these because of this. This is, this is so cool. You can have the cocking action. Obviously, the bolt doesn't open, but that just is nice. I just really like that. These are really easy to make. When you get these, you just get three pieces. You get the stock, you get the, um, the what is this called? The front handle for the cocking lever. And then you get the body and you just pretty much glue it all together and then you have a gun. And uh, same thing here and same thing here. All really solid. I really love the shorty too. Uh, I love the shorty shotgun. Let's get this on Rika just to show you that it fits. And this is really, really cool look. Oh, I love that. Isn't that sick? That looks really nice. Look at that. Oh, whoops. Not as tight as I'd like it. But that's okay. Probably got to use different hands. There you go. Boom. Got Rika with a tiny shotgun looking really sharp. Like I said, these look really cool. Really, really cool. Love those. So you get three shotguns. That's for the M870. Let me get that box for you. And there it is right there. The M870 from Little Armory. Let's put them all back to where they belong. Absolutely loving this set, like I said, guys. Um, they're about 10 bucks a piece. Um, some of them go up to 20. Uh, most of these you probably are gonna have to import. I know Toy Ninja has some, but not a lot. Actually, speaking of Toy Ninja, this is the one I got from Toy Ninja. I got the M249. This guy looks awesome. I love this one. 
looking really sharp, really cool. Um, doesn't really do much. Like you can't really lift this guy. Up. I mean, you, you can, but as you can see, it's kind of really pressure fit to to get that belt feed look. Uh, I kind of wish that the bullets were colored so they're just black. So you kind of just get this. This is it in its stock form, and it looks really solid. And because I'm saying solid, we have a special guest who's going to be carrying this gun, and it's no other than Solid Snake from Figma. Really, really cool here. So obviously, you can get these guns for Figmas, and one of them that you want to get for is Solid Snake here. Why not? I mean, that's the Middle Gear Solid games has a lot of guns, lots of gunplay, really fun stuff. And there he is holding the M249 with his knife. Oh, look at that. That looks so cool. Look at that. Machine gun status right there. It would go like this. Ooh. Look that. Let's look closer at that. That looks really cool on Snake. Look at that. That looks so cool. Really love that how that looks on Snake there. Wow, wow, wow. Loving these guns. Loving building them. They are so fun to build, guys. You have no idea. Like I, I got four of the four of the guns. I got the M249, and then the M24, and then I got the M870. And within an hour, I finished all of them. Made sure they were all glued properly for this setup. Um, once you start, you just can't stop. It's kind of like an addiction when you're when you're building these or when you're building models. I'm pretty sure all my model viewers out there know what I'm talking about. When you start building, you just can't stop. And that looks good on Snake. So let's talk about this guy. This is the MP7. Removable magazine. Painted this black and tan. I think I did a decent job on this guy. Could be better, but nonetheless, looking pretty cool. And the pec box, the laser box, goes on top. Or you can put it down there. I put it on top. Not really how it should be, but I just put it on there. Because this guy right here is another one you get with the same set. I don't have the box for this. And the stock is extremely, this extended stock is extremely um, weak. You're going to have to glue that, super glue that really well. And then, of course, you get the aim point up there. And then the silencer. And the magazines are interchangeable. See? Really cool. Let's talk about the pistols. We are almost done here, guys. Thanks for staying with me. And here's the Platts pistols. This is the Desert Eagle. I painted this one silver. I love my Desert Eagle silver. And of course, here's another Platts. You get a Colt Python, I believe. A little bit small. And then you get a... What is this one? This is a Beretta Inox. I colored this one. This one's really nice looking. I think I painted this one really nicely. This is the Inox Beretta. And I believe this one is in a little armory. Yeah, this is a little armory. This comes in the SIG set. You get three types of SIGs and you get um, the fl a flashlight with them. I think this is the 229. That's a smaller version or a 228. And of course, we got to check out all this stuff. Um, pretty much the same stuff. Oh, yeah, 1911. This is the little Armory 1911. Pretty solid here. But what mostly I bought this for was the holster. You get uh, three holsters or two. I think it's two. Do you get two? I think so. They come with holsters. So I put them on the characters that don't have holsters, which is my Figma Oi. And my Figma Alice Koji. As you can see, I got them outfitted with holsters, so now they can fit any gun they want. You see, I have the 1911, 1911 here on my Alice, and I have a M, um, M9, which, by the way, let's look at this M9 here. This one I custom painted to look very similar to the Stars Samurai Edge from um, Resident Evil M9. Looking really cool, silver barrel with the wood grips. Really need to get the insignia, but this is so small, I really can't get it on there. Maybe I'll just put a dab of blue. Silver um, trigger there, black body, looking really good. Gotta get that on there. Put that on the figure. That looks most like my wife. <laughs> yeah, really cool. Oh yeah, so they have it out. The Vector, look at that guy. Have this one on my Oi. That vector looks really sick. Really nice. Let's look at that. Let's focus a little. Look at that. You even got the vector insignia on there. 
It's really cool looking. Yeah. The stock, I don't believe, folds. I don't believe it does. Yeah, it doesn't. If it did, I super glued it. When it comes to guns of something this small, it's really hard to make them fold and do the stuff they should because they're just very fragile. And I believe, yes, as I thought, the magazine is removable. So looking really solid there. And I think that's it. Oh yeah, I have a Glock. This one's also from Platts. This is a Platts Realistic Glock. Um, I think this is the Glock 18C, yes. There's a selector right there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I put them all in the drawer for safe storage. And there you have it. That pretty much goes over everything I have. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it just doesn't stop, I keep forgetting. We got the Scar H on my Alice here. Now the Scar H comes with a scope and it comes with a really long silencer and then it comes also with the flash hinder end. I decided to keep it in the silencer and uh, full, in a fully unretracted look on the on the stock. And the reason why I want, I originally wanted it when it's fully retracted, this stock, but it's too long for her to hold so I have to keep it like this. That looks really cool. I really love this. I love the Scar H. I have one in airsoft form. I, well, I had one. I don't have it anymore. I sold it. Uh, I really just like the, the way the Scar looks. This guy I have an interesting story on. I was looking for this one for so long, uh, and they sold out everywhere. I spent like almost 40 bucks on this gun alone. Really expensive. Now they're in stock everywhere, and they're about 10 to 20 bucks. Yeah, I overpaid for it, but I just love the way the Scar looks. Really love that. Yeah. So yeah, so let's set them all up. And this is the best part, is that they all look really cool. Uh, let's put all the guns and stuff like that. Well, I'll do that after. See, and you can put them all here. Let's get Sheena with the sniper. There you go. I really like the way Sheena looks. Definitely worth it. If you guys are like fans of shooter games, or realistic just guns and stuff like that. Um, yeah, this is definitely worth the investment because this calls for some really nice looking setups here. Just look at that. There's all, all four of my girls right there. See, there you have it. Looking ready to take on the cartel in Ghost Recon in their schoolgirl outfits, future DLC. And last but not least, I have Deadpool here to join the party. <laughs> and let's get a gun on him just for, just for fun. Just for fun, guys. Let's take off this revolver, which was the best looking one, the best looking thing in his set. And let's put him with something like this. With the, uh, with the MP7. Ooh, Perfect fit. Fits like a glove. Wow. Really love that. And there you have it. You have Deadpool with his MP7. <laughs> that looks really slick. Really love that. Eating his burrito. Hanging out with tough anime girls. And of course, solid snake with a knife. Um, lots of accessories here. Definitely worth the purchase. Anyway, guys, thanks for hanging around and watching this showcase and my unboxing of the Figma Sheena Rica. Um, rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys have any requests on toy reviews, let me know down below if I have the money or the time. I will definitely try my best to get around and looking at them. So no promises though, but again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.
and subscribe. Where? Right here, not there, right here. You. And thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here, right there, right here. Yeah.